No way. In the past, printers were the worst, most unreliable products we had to deal with on a daily basis. But to be fair, I feel like printers have gotten a lot better in the last few years. For the most part, they connect to wireless networks pretty easily, and you can connect to them without software or drivers and just print wirelessly. And at least for me, they have been working. But the one thing that has never changed is the absolute ripoff that are printer ink cartridges. And in this video, I'm going to open up one of these and show you what's actually inside. It is ridiculous. So look, I'm not currently printing very much, but I do have a hot sauce business and I'm constantly mailing out bottles of hot sauce, so I need to print labels. So I went to Walmart looking for some super cheap, simple printer that can just print out labels. It doesn't have to do anything fancy or ridiculous at all. And I found this Canon printer copier scanner combo for $50. How in the hell can they make this for $50? But I thought, hey, I've used Canon printers before. They're great, let's do it. So I get home, set it up in just a few minutes, and honestly, it works great. But fast forward a week and boom, I'm already out of ink. So I go on Amazon, I buy more. Fast forward a week or two later, I'm out of ink again. So this time I go back to Amazon and I'm ready to drop some money. I splurge and I buy the extra large printer cartridge. But when it comes, I feel this thing, it's still so light, it feels hollow, I can shake it. There's Nothing inside it, so what in the world? But I put it inside, fast forward a few weeks, boom, I'm out of ink again. How is this possibly happening? So look, we all know the scam. They sell you some really cheap printer, maybe they even lose a little bit of money on the printer and they get you hooked on these cartridges that have these computer chips on them that talk to the printer so that you can't possibly buy some knockoff printer cartridge and you just have to buy $50 ink cartridges every week for the rest of your life. Well, yesterday I was walking through Costco and boom, right there in front of me is the printer of my dreams. This was an Epson EcoTank printer. I've never seen anything like this, but basically instead of printer cartridges, it has these gigantic ink reservoirs that you can fill up yourself for a fraction of the cost. And this thing is supposed to be able to print something like 20 times more pages. I bought it right away. The setup was super easy, but instead of snapping in the cartridges, now you have to fill up these tanks with these included bottles. Without installing any drivers or any software, both my laptop and my iPhone were able to find it and instantly print. Yes, it works. Now the printer came with two gigantic bottles of black ink, each one 127 milliliters, which got me thinking, I wonder how much ink is actually inside one of my Canon printer cartridges. To my surprise, the box actually tells you 11.9 milliliters. How much is 11.9 milliliters, you might be wondering? Well, this is exactly 12 milliliters of water. Look at how little this is. But even still, when I hold this, it feels hollow and when I shake it, I hear nothing. It's like there's no liquid in this at all. I wanna see if this actually has 11.9 milliliters. First, I drilled a hole in one of these brand new cartridges and the first thing I realized was that the drill bit was hardly dirty and when I tipped it over to dump it out, no ink came out at all. I then went outside so that my wife wouldn't kill me and I opened up the printer cartridge. I could not believe what was inside. No way. I thought there was gonna be a little reservoir with some ink in it. Instead, there were two small pieces of foam that were lightly dusted with printer ink. I'm telling you, there was such little ink on this thing that it didn't even soak all the way through. Look at the white areas here. No way. It's hardly even wet in there. There's nothing in here. Oh my gosh. It's barely moist with ink, barely wet inside here. And when I squeezed this as hard as I could with pliers, I could get like a single drop to come out of this. 11.9 milliliters of ink is almost no ink at all. And I'm telling you, this was not even close to 11.9 milliliters. Doing a little bit of math here, these ink tanks hold 10 times more ink than the cartridges do, but they're also half the price. So it's literally 20 times cheaper to fill this up with ink rather than continue to buy these damn cartridges. So look, if you're only printing out a few pages a month, it probably doesn't matter. But if you're printing out a few pages a day, you are getting so ripped off, it's ridiculous. And to be perfectly honest, I'm not sure that the Epson printer is the answer. This thing is brand new. I literally just opened it today. 
Of course, it's working perfectly right now, but my biggest fear is that down the road, all of the print heads are going to clog up. The nice thing about the cartridge system is that not only are you replacing the ink, you're also replacing the print head. So it's like you're kind of getting a fresh printer each time you replace one of these. How long will the Epson survive? I have no idea. When it comes to just printing documents, I've had really good luck with high-end laser printers, but these things were very expensive in the past and they were gigantic. I know today they make smaller and cheaper ones, but I haven't personally tested them, so make sure to read the reviews if you're gonna go that route. I have found that when I'm printing photos, I really need an inkjet printer. I did do a test on this printer, and surprisingly, it looked much better than I thought it would. But if you're gonna be printing photos, Epson makes a much higher end version of this. I would definitely suggest that one. I'm sorry to say that I can't give this printer a glowing review just because I haven't used it long enough yet. I don't know how long it's going to survive, but I do know that these printers that take these overpriced cartridges are a giant waste of money. 